Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BB3D channel we're going to open up the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box for March 2020. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BB3D. Hi everyone! Welcome back! Hey, if you're new here and you want to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so a couple of days ago, the United States Postal Service placed upon my doorstep the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box for March of 2020. And then I let it sit in the garage for a few days so any potential bad things on it could self-destruct because these days, you can't be too careful. And now I have finally accepted it into my home. Before we probe into its contents, I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the box. My friend Josh, known to many as Alien 3D, had sent out a survey to the box subscribers a little while back asking whether we wanted to keep the themed box or use the black box with the Alien 3D logo or just a plain unmarked box for future subscriptions. Now, I don't know what the ultimate tally of results was, but I'm okay with either the black box with the logo or just a plain brown wrapper. And I know Josh has been having trouble with the box supplier. These boxes for March were ordered in early February and they were only supposed to take like a week for him to get them, but the box company was having a problem fulfilling orders so it took over a month. And besides, if Josh goes back to the black box with the logo, if mine never gets lost in the mail, I can make jokes about how the UFO crashed and search crews are looking for the black box. Now, it's been a couple of months since I've done a real unboxing of a UFO, so we're kind of overdue. January's UFO I kind of jokingly unboxed on the 1440 Makers stream, which was a 24-hour fundraising effort for the victims, both human and animal, of the Australian bushfires. There were a ton of us on the stream, off and on, over the course of that 24-hour span, and the effort raised over $14,000. It was spearheaded by Shane, who you may know is formerly part of Prusa's support team, with a ton of assistance from JT, who streams most Mondays with Ivan Miranda, and Chris from Practical Printing. Now, Shane stayed up the entire time. I think he was awake for over 28 hours, and it was a phenomenal job on his part, and really a big thanks to everyone who was involved, and it was an honor to be a part of it. But I digress. Now, February was just a busy month, and I ran out of time to do an unboxing that month. But the project in February's box was a cool little Bluetooth speaker. You got the electronics part of it, the circuit board, the power supply, and the speakers, and you'd print the box to put it in. And it was a neat little boom box case designed by Thomas, the 3D Print Viking. Now, I haven't built that one yet, but I want to. So that brings us to March and this box here. And I guess this is a good time to mention what the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box is for those of you who may not be familiar with it. It's a monthly subscription mystery box for people with 3D printers. The mystery, of course, is that you never know exactly what you're going to get. And while Mr. Gump may have said, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get, you do know that you're at least getting chocolate. And thus it is that you know every month you will get four 20 meter filament samples, usually PLA or PETG, so that they're generally easy to print with. You get a 3D printing related accessory, you get a project to do, and sometimes you get stickers, swag, coupon codes, and a little bit of candy all for $36 a month, which includes shipping in the USA. Oh, and one lucky subscriber every month wins the Mothership Prize, which is a higher value accessory. Now, there are smaller, less expensive subscription products as well, so check the link in the description if you're curious. Okay, well, what do you say we open this up and see what we got? And here's our info card. Let's see what Josh has to say. What a couple of months it's been. I hope each and every one of you is staying safe and healthy. It's definitely been crazy times, and for those who have stuck around with me, I truly appreciate it. If anyone didn't receive the update email from me, please let me know if you'd like to be added to the email list for any future subscriber-only information. I'm absolutely trying to stay as transparent as possible with everyone. My goal with the project this month, since I had to find something that didn't require me to rely on another company's shipping and be able to acquire enough of them, was to cutely decorate your printer for St. Patrick's Day. Face palm. Well, I definitely didn't make that date, but hopefully you'll find a use for it. Maybe if you have kids, they'll find the item enjoyable. The accessory, though, I'm sure everyone can find some use for. I know I've got about five of them as I keep losing them and getting more just to find the previous one again. 
As always, any feedback anyone has, feel free to reach out. The next few months should run a bit more smoothly. Raises fists at shipping fairies. Josh. Well, that's cool. At least we're finding out what's going on, and that's, that's always good. Communication is good, and I appreciate that. And you know, it has been a crazy couple of months, I agree. And I second what Josh says. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Okay, well, let's get these filament samples out and get a look at them. Looks like we've got some pot of gold gold, some sky blue, and a couple of clovery greens. Perfect St. Patrick's Day colors. Let's take a closer look at them. The gold is Keen Village Plastics Bright Gold PLA, which prints between 195 and 215 degrees C on a 60 degree bed. That's a nice gold. I like that. Let's set that aside here. The blue is Polymaker Teal Polylite PLA, which prints between 190 and 230 degrees C on a bed from 25 to 60 degrees C at a recommended speed of between 40 and 60 millimeters per second. Now it says teal, and I can see a tiny hint of green in the blue, but to me it's mostly a sky blue. Now let's take a look at the two green ones. This bright green is Monoprice High Gloss Pale Green PLA, which prints between 200 and 220 degrees C on a bed from 0 to 60 degrees C. It's like the color of freshly sprouted leaves. And this darker one is Greengate 3D Spearmint, a recycled PETG filament, which prints between 225 and 245 degrees C on a 70 degree bed. Okay, well, what else do we have in here? Ah, here is our accessory. A nice pair of flush cutters. These are always good to have around for snipping zip ties and cutting a point on the end of your filament to make it easier to load into your printer. And there is a prismatic. Oh, that's nice, nice and rainbow. That's pretty cool, you get a nice rainbow effect on it. I don't know if that's showing up well on the camera, but it's cool. And there are a couple of gold coins. Well, chocolate coins with gold foil on them. Uh, I think I'll split these with my kid. And lastly, here is the project for the month. So it looks like it's a little battery pack with a string of LED lights to decorate your printer. Now, I know Josh was apologetic about the project. He was clearly having a hard time sourcing parts for what he wanted to do, what with China having been shut down for a month. To be honest though, it's a bit of a miss compared to most months. Most of the time we get projects like this light up color change dagger. This was the one for last Halloween or last month's boombox speaker where I haven't made it yet, but it's got the power adapter and two speakers in it and wire and the circuit board and all of the good stuff that you need. So I know that most months the project is pretty good. Still though, it is what it is. So I'm gonna have some fun with it. So what do you say we decorate an Ender 3? Let's go ahead and get these little guys out of the bag. There is a twisty tie. I think, oh no, it is carefully wrapped around itself. I am glad I didn't snip that, thinking that that was a cable tie. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right. Oh, come on. Stay on target. Almost there. Oh, these are very tangly. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this turned on. Oh, they're green. <laughs> I thought they were going to be gold, but they are green. All right, here we go. Ah, so tangly. There now, isn't that looking festive? Actually, if you kind of keep this out of the way of the moving parts, 
it is clearly right now in the way of the moving parts. It's getting wrapped around the lead screw. All right, there. Stay. Good. And why not put a little gold up here too, just to add to it. There. Okay, it's decorated. Ta-da! Now, I usually end these by putting everything in the box, and I'm gonna do that this time too, except for the decorations. So let me get this stuff packed back up. We will go ahead and put in our accessory and our sticker and our filament and filament and filament and filament and info card and close this up. Now I am especially interested to try printing in that GreenGate 3D recycled PETG. I don't think I've printed with their recycled filament before, so that should be interesting. So if you are interested in the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box, check out the link in the description. I've got a discount code in there for $5 off your first month when you subscribe. And if you use it, I get a $5 credit too, so everybody wins. Well, my 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for today. And now that we're at the end of the video, let's go print something cool. But let's watch out for the LEDs. <laughs> Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you like this episode, a thumbs up would be great. If you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. Now don't forget, whether you're interested in buying things that were featured in this video, or just buying things online in general, there are links in the description that will get you to the right place. I've got some other videos here that you might want to take a look at, too. Also, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Subscribing is absolutely free and is an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time right here on the BB3D channel.